Next question. Sand is pouring at, from a pipe at the rate of 12 cm cube per second. The falling sand forms a cone on the ground in such a way that the height of the cone is always one-sixth of the radius of the base. How fast is the height of the sand cone increasing when the height is 4 cm? Suppose you are pouring some sand on the ground. Automatically, the formed sand will be in the shape of a cone. So, that cone, the shape of cone, do you remember what a cone is? The uh, cup of an ice cream, that's an example of a cone. The inverted cup of an ice cream, that is the that will be the shape of the sand when it is pouring to the ground. So, that is what is described in the question. And from the first sentence, 12 centimeter cube per second. Per second means it is a rate given and it is clearly mentioned in the question also. Rate of. Rate of what? The unit is centimeter cube, isn't it? What is a, uh, which quantities unit is centimeter cube? It is volumes, isn't it? So, what is given as 12 centimeter cube per second? 12 centimeter cube per second is given as the rate of change of volume. That means dv by dt is given as 12 centimeter cube per second. Again, the shape is mentioned in the second one. The falling sand forms a cone of on the ground in such a way that height of the cone is always one six of the radius. Whenever we consider a cone, it has a height, it has a radius, it has a circular shape at the base, and it has a point at the top. That is it, the, isn't it? So there are two dimensions. R and H, radius and H. And second sentence says about the relation between R and H. Height of the cone is always one sixth of the radius. We will always represent the height as H. That is one sixth. The one sixth means one by six of radius. Radius is represented by R. So there is a relation connecting height and radius. H is equal to one by six of R. And what is the question? How fast is the height of the sand cone increasing? Increasing means we will have to get a positive value. How fast? That means we have to find the rate. Rate of what? Rate of height. That means we have to find dh by dt. Okay, that is what we have to find when height is 4 cm. That means when h is equal to 4 cm, we have to find the rate of change in height. And it is already mentioned in the question that it is increasing. Okay, since dv by dt is given as 12 cm cube per second, we will write the formula to find volume of a cone. What is the formula to find volume of a cone? It is 1 by 3 pi r square h. How many variables are there here? V, R and H. Send it. And we have to differentiate with respect to Ty because dv by dt is given and we have to find dh by dt. Before differentiating, there is a relation h is equal to 1 by 6 R. We will substitute the relation here. As we have to find the value of or the rate of height, we will substitute for R. Okay, we need the rate of height. So, if I substitute for h, the equation becomes in terms of r. That is not what we require. We require rate of change of height. dh by dt is what we require. So, what we will do is we will substitute the value for r. If h is given as 1 by 6 r, r will be equal to 6 into h. So, I am going to substitute this value here. Okay. So, this is equal to 1 by 3 pi into 6h the whole square into h. So that is equal to 1 by 3 pi into 6 square is 36 into h square into h. So this get cancelled giving you 12. So what we are getting is v is equal to 12 is there. So 12 pi h square into h gives you h cube. So this is what v is. So what we will do next we will differentiate this v with respect to T. Why? Because dv by dt is given and we have to find dh by dt. So dv by dt is equal to 12 pi is a constant and we have to take the derivative of h cube. h cube is of the form x raised to n. So its derivative is 3 into h square. And again we have to take the derivative of h which is dh by dt. Okay, that is equal to 3 into 12 gives you 36 pi h square into dh by dt. Okay dv by dt, the value is given. How much? It is 12. So, 12 is equal to 36 pi into h square into dh by dt. What we require? We require dh by dt. So, dh by dt is equal to 12 divided by 36 pi into h square. 12 divided by 36 pi into h square. 12 and 36 get cancelled giving you 3. Okay. And the question is to find the 
how fast the height is increasing when h is 4 cm. So instead of h here we can substitute the value as 4. So we will write when h is equal to 4 dh by dt will be equal to numerator got cancelled. Is there anything balance? Yes it is 1. 1 by 3 pi into h is 4. So h square will be 16. So what is the final answer? 1 by 16 into 3 is 48. 48 pi. You have to write the unit also isn't it? So dh by dt will be equal to 1 by 48 pi into what is the unit of height? The unit of height is centimeter is given in the question per unit of time is second. So the answer is 1 by 48 pi centimeters per second.